How's it going everybody, Ben from Basic Mule here and welcome back to the channel. This video is another entry in my Collecting on a Budget series, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. We're starting it out with this dealing right here, a really cute illustration and also really affordable. The Japanese version, that is, is sitting at around 2 euros for this one, while the English version, as we can see right here, is a little bit more expensive, 5 euros 50, which is why I'm featuring the Japanese version, um, together with the source bug, because the illustration actually goes together really really well. They're part of one artwork essentially and this is also available at around two euros in the Japanese variant that is. Over on ebay.com for you guys from the US and Canada this is sitting at around two dollar seventy three and I did find a offer right here where the seller just sells both both cards in one offer. So this is a really great way to get both cards if you want to, and you can also see how well the artwork actually sits together. This is great stuff, and this is sitting at $5.69. I do believe the sauce buck is around the same price as the dearling. Maybe you can get lucky and find both of them cheaper than this offering, like, um, together, but I, I just put it on the table right here, and mainly to show off that the illustration does go together very, very well. Right, next up up right here I have the RCS V-Star from V-Star Universe. This is notably just like the Deerling and Saucebuck, the Japanese version of this card. Because for some reason the English version of this card is sitting at over 70 euros on card market. When I think in the US it's around $60, right about there. Japanese version is 40 euros, right about there, like below 40, just below 40. Which is insane, I still don't know why the English version is that much more expensive because the Japanese version is just superior in every single way. The texture is night and day difference, and I really do mean it. This is not Scarlet and Violet era, this is still Sword and Shield era, where the texture difference is very noticeable. So I still don't get why the English version is that much more expensive. Um, here's the Japanese version over on ebay.com, similar price, uh, $39 for this one. And here is the English version which is sitting, um, these are Japanese versions, which is sitting with shipping, I guess, at around $60, so I was correct there. It's really insane. It, it does look like the price has gone down. No, it actually has gone up. Now it's going down again. Still, even if it were to climb down to 50, it's still inferior to the Japanese version. So there you go. This is not the only gold card from V-Star Universe that I have featured on this list. I also have the Palkia right here, which is just below 30, I guess 30 euros right there. And I also have the Dialga, which is also 30 euros right here, over on the ebay.com site. Once again, very, very similar price, $29.80, so basically $30. Um, similar with this Dialga right here, $27.98. Really, really great stuff, and I think I actually pulled the... I can't remember if I pulled the Dialga or the Palkia in English. If I can find the picture, I'll put them side to side right now, and you can see the texture difference between those two cards. And that is the reason why I do not understand why the English versions are so much more expensive than the Japanese ones. It makes no sense. It really makes no sense, but anyways, there you go. Here I actually have a really, really cheap card. This might actually be the cheapest card I ever featured on, on my lists. Um, it's the Surfing Pikachu from Evolutions of all sets. This is available for two euros in a near mint collection right here. Check this one out. It is a reprint of the Surfing Pikachu, of course. There are multiple versions of this card, but this is the cheapest one. And over on the TCG player side, it's also, I guess, with shipping, it's a little bit more expensive. Just below $3 for this one, but still a great card and definitely worth picking up. Now, next up, I have cards that I can unfortunately only recommend to my European viewers. I know last time I had cards that I could only recommend to American viewers, so now we're just turning it around a little bit right here. Um, three cards from Supreme Victors, first one being the Articuno. Um, seems to be available, there's one for 20 euros, but general price seems to be at around 40 for an excellent copy. Um, next up is the Moltres, right here, available for around 30 euros for this one, and of course the Zapdos, also available at around 30 euros for, for that one. Um, let me just check out the prices of these on TCG Player, you can quickly see that the price is way too high. That is more than double what they are in, in Europe. That is kind of ridiculous to me. Why are they so much more expensive over for you guys in the US? 
That's, that's really, really strange. Similar with the Zapdos, of course. And the Moltres. Don't get me started with the Moltres. What, what is this? Why is the Moltres $155 over on TCG Player? That seems so weird. Like, why is that card so expensive? Um, sorry about about that for the US viewers, but there you go. Um, next up, I do have cards that I can recommend to both sides, actually. And we have this Latias, the LP promo. Actually, really, really old promo. Um, I think around 2010, if I can just barely make the writing out right down here. Excellent version, around 25 euros. You can grab a Nearman for around 30. This is an amazing illustration. And similar with the sauce bug, there is actually a counterpart to this illustration, which is this Latios right here, of course. This one is a little bit cheaper. I guess there's one for 15 euros, but general price also seems to be at around 30. Really, really great stuff. Um, I did find this one right here. Um, this is a CGC 7.5 for the Latias, at least, but... As I said in my last video, all the cards that I do feature on this list are supposed to be binder copies. So if you buy this, just crack it out of the case and slap it in your binder. It will be well enough. It's a 7.5. It's definitely not perfect. You can see a little bit whitening down here and there. But as I say, for binder copies where you really just see the front anyways, Excellent copies or light plate, as they're known for, for you guys from the US, I guess, um, are really, really good, in my opinion. I do actually have a bunch of light plate um, cards in my binder, so there you go. Um, here is the Latias again, once again, this is without the, the CGC 7.5. I think this is a little bit better condition than the CGC 7.5. This one is available for $24. And I do have the Latias as well, or Latios as well, sorry, Latios, um, by the same seller as the Latias, uh, $22. So maybe you want to grab both of these together when you're buying from this seller right here. Um, the, the option is there, and the cards are really amazing. And the Hollow Foil. Man, don't get me started on the Hollow Foil. It's the really, really old school, I think, Cosmo Hollow Foil pattern is what it's called. Look at this, man. It looks so good, and it works so well together with the rainbow right here, and that darkness right here, the sunrise. Man, I just can't stop gushing over how stunning the illustration for both of these cards are, man. That is great stuff. We must move on, though. We must move on. Because next up right here, I have the Ninetales Delta Species from EX Dragon Frontiers. Never thought I'd actually be able to feature another card from the EX era, but here we are. Um, this specifically, though, I would highly recommend you get yourself the um, stamped version, like the reverse rare. Because I do believe the normal rare, like this one, it's really hard to tell. I think there's a standard rare version of this one, a hollow rare version, but it has this weird hollow effect like this one, where the card isn't like Cosmo Holo Foil. It's like a really weird reverse, if, if that's one way to put it. Highly recommend you grab yourself the reverse version, which is, I think, around $30 as well, as you can see right here. I can find a picture of this one. Yeah, see, this one. You have the golden border of the card as well, and you have the stamp of the set down here. This is what they did with EX um, sets, like Gen 3 sets. They might have done it with older sets or with other sets as well, but this is what I really like about these older sets. The stamp down here, really, really cool. And the illustration itself speaks for itself, right? It's a really, really well done illustration, great stuff. Over on TCG Player, I did find one for, I guess, $30 with shipping, but you really do have to look out for that stamp, because the standard version doesn't look nearly as good, like this one right here. My opinion looks a little bit boring, so do try to look out for a stamped version if you can. But there we are, here is the Nine Tails. Now, last but not least, I do actually have a few full art trainers right here. The first of the full art trainers is this Skyla from Shining Fates. This one is available for below 10 euros. I'm honestly, I'm honestly kind of surprised the card is still that cheap. It was always the third best card you can pull from the set. Don't know if it still is. 
but below 10 euros, there you go, awesome purchase. There is also the Japanese version that I do want to mention in this video, which is also below 30 euros, which is really, really surprising that the card is still that cheap. I mean, Shiny Star V, I want to say, was kind of printed into oblivion, which is why most of the cards from the set are really, really affordable, but this is great. Um, either version you go for, Japanese or English, you'll be, you'll be really happy with your purchase. This is one of the better illustrations of, of Skyla. Um, here we have the English version on TCG Player. This is a little bit cheaper over here. Um, $7.26 with shipping included, so there you go. I do also have a Japanese version right here. This is 30 Canadian dollars, which is around $21.76. Um, I guess with shipping just below 30 euros as well, or $30 as well, sorry, $30. And there you go. Once again, doesn't matter which version you go for. Both are really, really cool. Next up, I have this penny right here from Paldea and Fates. I think in one of my other videos I did feature the Nimona. Um, for this one I am featuring the Penny. This one is sitting at around 6 euros. It looks like 6 to 7 euros, which is really really cool, really affordable. And it does feature an Umbreon. Like, of course it features Penny, duh. But also features an Umbreon. And I know there are a lot of Umbreon fans out there, so maybe this is a card that you might want to add to your Umbreon collection. Over on TCG Player right here, a little bit more expensive, um, surprisingly. $8.50 seems to be the cheapest offer with shipping included. Um, the price has been dropping though, so maybe now is a good time to buy, unless you do want to wait for a little bit longer. But even at this price, I'd say it's, uh, it's a really good purchase. Now here we are at the second to last full art trainer, um, Colrus's Experiment. This one is from Lost Origin, but I also have this one from Crown Zenith. I'm featuring this one most notably because if you are playing a Lost Box deck, if you're still having fun with that deck, um, you definitely have to run Colrus, of course. And if you maybe you want to pimp out your deck a little bit more, don't want to use the standard card. The full art of Colrus are actually really, really cheap. The standard one from Lost Origin is around 3 euros, while the Crown Zenith version looking to be around 4 to 5 euros right for this one. This one is the better one, in my opinion. Um, over on TCG Player for the Crown Zenith one, um, $2.50. You serious? That is so cheap. That is so cheap. And then the Lost Origin one, even cheaper at $2. I guess you have to pay shipping, but um, free shipping for orders over $5. So maybe you can find a cart or two more and get some free shipping. Um, well, but I guess that does it for this video. If you enjoyed this one, then please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, then by all means, give it a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like so I can try to fix that for future videos. Other than that, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here somewhere is the subscribe button. Click the subscribe button button first and click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below and I hope we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace, take care.